And another big story today, Maryland Governor Wes Morris signed several bills into law this morning, including strengthening our state's abortion rights. WJZ is live right now. Paul Gessler was at the signing ceremony today with why the issue will be in your hands next. Paul? Yeah, abortion rights, Denise, will be on the ballot next year as Marylanders decide on whether to enshrine this right in the state's constitution. That, not the only bill signed today on this issue. Today is about health care. Today is about freedom. From the governor's reception room at the Maryland State House, Maryland can and will lead on this issue of abortion access. Governor Moore and others signed into law a bill to send the right to an abortion to Maryland voters. We are living at a time when the Supreme Court is actively working to take Americans' rights away. It comes after the Supreme Court's Dobbs decision, allowing states to enact stricter abortion laws. Maryland will always be a safe haven. The governor signing a series of bills Wednesday protecting abortion rights and doctors. The president of Planned Parenthood of Maryland says the state has already become a safe haven for abortion care as other states are passing more prohibitive laws. 26 different states had patients visit us here in Maryland because they could not get health care easily within their own state. No one should ever have to justify their humanity. The governor also signed a bill requiring Medicaid to provide coverage for gender affirming treatment. Especially folks who have lower incomes, it, this is life saving care. This is, um, this is rights that folks should have. Laws targeting gender affirming care for minors have exploded around the country. 15 states now have bans in place. 17 more are currently considering a ban. We didn't take on controversial topics. We made bold decisions on topics that needed to be addressed. Back live now, and this was the governor's fourth bill signing. He also signed a cannabis reform bill regulating the sale of recreational cannabis ahead of this summer's legalization. We're live on Lombard tonight at 4. I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.